Hello Philippines and Konnichiwa Japan! So in the last video, we've heard about Hershey's condition during this pandemic here in Japan. And also we've heard about her experiences working as an ALT and working as an Eikaiwa teacher. We've also discussed the work of an ALT and an Eikaiwa teacher here in Japan. In today's video, we will discuss the differences between an ALT and an Eikaiwa teacher. If you're an OFW and aspiring to become an ALT and Eikaiwa teacher, I hope you'll be able to watch this video and learn from Hershey's experiences. Pero bago ko ibigay ang video nyan sa inyo, please click on the subscribe button and also please hit the bell notification button below para updated kayo sa mga stories ko. Okay, so move on na tayo sa mga main topics natin for today. According to the title, ALT versus uh, Eikaiwa. So first, my question is, how do you define ALT? ALT stands for um, Assistant Language Teacher. So, pag sinabing assistant, ibig sabihin, um, ikaw yung support teacher ng isang main teacher, which is dito sa Japan setting, Technically, ang ang main teacher talaga is yung Japanese teacher. Tapos mm -hmm. ikaw, ikaw yung uh, magbibigay ng support na i-mention ko sa sa inyo later kung ano yung mga ginagawa mismo ng ALT. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, okay. So, what about Eikaiwa? Eikaiwa means uh, English conversations. A from uh, which means uh, from ego na ibig sabihin English uh, English conversations uh, class or English conversations school so ito naman uh, mag-uumpisa na ako sa comparison between the two ALT dahil ikaw yung assistant or support teacher ng main teacher which is the Japanese teacher nagtatrabaho ka sa mga schools public schools to be exact Ang mga Eikaiwa teachers naman, or English Conversation Schools, 99% of them are working in Eikaiwa uh, schools or companies. Na mostly private. Yeah, na mostly run by private companies. So, kapag Eikaiwa teacher ka, ikaw mismo yung teacher ng estudyante mo. Mm, okay, okay. So, nakailang years ka na experience as ALT? ALT, uh, roughly three years then, Mga two and a half. Mm -hmm. So, um, nakapagturo ako from grade one to grade six mm -hmm. as an ALT. Mm -hmm. So, um, back then, ang, ang schools ko, pag ALT ka kasi, um, depende yun sa lugar, lugar or yung board of education na nakasakop yung lugar mo kung bibigyan ka ng isang school lang kung saan ka papasok for five days a week or kung uh, what's this kung maliit yung mga schools minsan meron kang two or three schools na pupuntahan within one week like one school two days ka another school two days ka tapos isang school one day ka lang papasok so to explain kung bakit ganun, parang masasya kayo, bakit ganun? Uh, bakit pa iba-ibang school? Mm -hmm. So, ang nangyayari kasi kapag ALT ka, ano, um, once a week ka lang magtuturo sa isang klase. Halimbawa, um, sa isang school, merong three or five sections sa grade one. Ano? Lahat yon grade one, tuturuan mo yon in one day lang. So, depende rin sa Board of Education, ng isang lugar, uh, yung sinasabi kong Board of Education sa Pilipinas, in context, district yan, school district. Mm -hmm. So, may ibang Board of Education na nagbibigay ng uh, distinction between fifth grade, grade fives and grade six na curriculum, English cur curriculum, at yung meron ding iba na pareho lahat from grade one to grade six. Uh, kasi, ang alimbawa, dun sa naranasan ko, ang grade 1 to grade uh, grade 4 ay meron lang silang 20 minutes na English class per uh, per per section. So halimbawa, grade 1 sec section 1 20 minutes lang 'yan. After 20 minutes, susunod na yung grade 1 section 2. Ganun ka bilis. Parang iisipin mo, wow, ang bilis lang. So mabilis 'yun. So kailangan 
yung 20 minutes na yun, ma-cover mo kung ano yung nasa lesson plan ninyo. So, uh, grade 1, sec- lahat ng grade 1, sections 1 to 5, iisa lang yung lesson. So, yung lahat ng 20 minutes na yun, paulit-ulit mo lang yung gagawin. And then, uh, syempre, ano lang yun eh, uh, 20 minutes, ano, parang one and a half hour, more than one and a half hours lang yan. Next naman natuturuan mo, grade 2, halimbawa, grade 2, iba yung lesson nila. So, grade 2, section 1, 20 minutes. Same, until matapos mo yun. So, kaya, sa, sa isang araw, minsan, isang school, matatapos mo grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. The next day, babalik ka sa same school, grade 3, grade 4, grade 5, grade 6, ganyan. So, tapos ka na sa isang school, dalawang araw lang. So, the next day, ibang school naman. Depende kung ano, kung ano yung program nila. So, kaya sinasabi kung iba yung maraming schools, yung iba yung grade 5 and grade 6 na na program is because dito sa Japan, kapag grade 5 and grade 6, nagpo-focus na sila more on grammar. Sa grades 1 to grade 4 kasi, more on conversations and having fun lang. Uh, grade 5 and grade 6, uh, medyo mas seryoso na sila. Kasi pagdating nila ng high school, doon na sila nag, uh, nagpo-focus na sila masyado sa grammar. Kaya, kailangan na nilang, uh, kailangan na nilang seryosohin mula grade 5 and grade 6. So, so mas preparation makabal. siya for high school. Exactly. Yun na yung jump start nila. So, uh, usually, nasa uh, 40 to 45 minutes yung ano uh, yung allotted time para sa English conversations class nila na ang ALT ang nagtuturo. Speaking of, sabi ko kanina, support teacher ka ng main teacher. Pero most of the time, talaga, dahil ang Japanese teacher mismo hindi marunong mag-English hanggang hi, hello, good morning lang din ang nasasabi nila, ikaw talaga yung nagtuturo. ALT is just but like brand or yung name lang pero ikaw talaga yung nagtuturo so meron kang uh, Japanese uh, what's this uh, Japanese uh, teaching uh, what's this teaching uh, parang officer yung JT na sinasabi nila uh, what's this siya yung pinaka magaling mag English at mag, of course Japanese bridge between you and the like uh, Japanese teachers na hindi malurunong mag English mm-hmm. siya yung kasama mo sa lesson planning at saka siya rin yung kasama mo sa pag execute ng lesson kasi mm-hmm. m- m- challenging talaga kapag alam mo yon yung feel na feel mo yung pagtuturo tapos hindi nila naintindihan yung mga pinagsasabi mo so here comes the JTE na magta translate to put your your lessons in context para magets nila kung ano yung pinagsasabi mo kung ano yung kung ano yung idea ng itinuturo mo so hindi niya tina-translate lahat kasi of course we're encouraging them to to learn the language by grasping kung ano yung yung talagang yung english words or yung gesture or yung yung uh, yung nonverbal conversations so hindi ini-encourage na matutunan nila yon yung ganon. Pero kapag hindi na talaga naintindihan, dun sila pumapaso. So, ganon. Kailangan makipag-team teach ka sa, what's it, sa Japanese teacher kasi sa planning, may mga schools na kasama yung, ano, uh, yung uh, Japanese teacher. Uh, sinasabi mo na sa kanila kung ano yung part nila tapos kung ano yung part mo kasi kahit ayaw nila or kahit man kung tutuusin mas mapabatal, mapapadali kung ikaw na lang eh pero kasama kasi talaga siya sa program so wala tayong magagawa uh, sila din walang magagawa uh, so uh, yun uh, kailangan parang parang ano eh parang ikaw sila mga bata ikaw yung uh, Japanese teacher mga bata ganun so may, may routine siya Ganun pag ALT. Pag A so, kailangan naman, may kipag-communicate ka talaga sa, sa mga Japanese teachers. It's very essential. With or without the JTE or yung Japanese English teacher, uh, kailangan may constant communication ka sa kanila. Otherwise, you'll get lost or they'll get lost. Lalo na kung may mga changes na nangyayari minsan madalas. So, yeah. Constant communication. So basically you have to be flexible kasi may marami, marami mga changes but at the same time kailangan mo ring ma-master yung 
uh, lesson plan mo so that mm-hmm. you you can you can teach uh, you can teach the kids or the students given that time and given what topic you have or you yeah. had to teach Exactly. Uh, most of the time, ang mga lessons naman sa mga public schools uh, ay very basic. Kung ikukumpara mo, pag sinabi mong grade 1 dito na level sa Pilipinas, mas mababa. Parang kinder lang yan. Kasi yes. super basic. So, uh, in that area, yung, uh, what's this, uh, mastering your plan, yung subject matter mismo, I think hindi ka mahihirapan. Pero dapat mong seryosohin yung classroom management planning. Kasi uh, ka- ma- kailangan i-anticipate mo kung ano yung mga challenges na sabi mo nga maging flexible. K- talagang very essential siya na skill. Kasi maraming mga hindi mo aakalain na mangyayari sa classroom. So, dapat dapat handa ka kung ano yung changes. Maging prepared ka rin kung may mga questions or mga reactions. By reactions, I mean, maraming mga bata ang hindi interested sa uh, English English lessons. Kasi, lalong-lalo na sa mga public schools, they think na, I don't need English para sa career ko in the future. Well, y- yun naman talaga. Marami dito na successful na hindi nila kinailangan ng English. Ang Japan mismo is a living proof. You know, they have... Uh, they have achieved the status of becoming the third largest economy in the world without English. People from English-speaking countries come here and learn their language Japanese. to do business with them. So, that's what I'm saying. Ikaw na English teacher na meron kang motivation na makapagturo kasi essential na siya sa... sa kasi ang Japan, they need uh, English to be part as, a, as part of the global community. Diba? Diba? So, ikaw naman na nandito na meron kang goal na maging part dun sa kanilang tools na para ma-achieve yung kanilang uh, mission na maging, you know, uh, part ng global community na nakikipag-communicate in this internationally used language, which is English, is uh, kailangan maging buo yung loob mo kasi maraming challenges kagaya nga na, nabanggit ko mostly sa mga public schools marami ang hindi ganun ka-motivated so dyan papasok yung pagiging resourceful mo uh, kung paano mo mapapa mapapadali mapapaganda at ma- magiging inviting yung, yung, ano mo, yung lessons mo or classes mo para ma-motivate mo yung mga sudyante mo but I think uh, the most important thing is yung sarili mo dapat may motivation ka. Yes. Kasi ma- mararamdaman ng estudyante mo yan. Sa totoo lang, ang mga Japanese, uh, sabi mo nga kanina, malakas silang makiramdam. Totoo mm-hmm. yan. Alam totoo na yan. alam nila kung if you're faking it or if you are just pushing it. So, mas maganda talaga kung sa sarili mo mismo nang gagaling yung motivation. Of course, you're not a robot. There there are gonna be days na you feel like, you know, you're just dragging yourself to work. And it, it really happens. It happens to the best of us. So, uh, you just really have to pick yourself up kapag nangyari yun. Kasi, you know, it can happen to you and it can happen to them as well. So, there are times na ikaw yung sobrang energetic at talagang very, ano ka, yung very, very lively mm-hmm. and very happy. Gustong-gusto mo ng, ano, yung ginagawa mong, yung mga routine, well-planned lahat. Tapos pagdating mo yung mga bata, walang reaction. Wala, wala eh. So, <laughs> yan, yan yung sinasabi ko. Uh, and there are times na sila yung sobrang taas ng energy, pero ikaw, wala kang pasensya. So, Ganun lang. Kailangan maging kasama siya sa paghahandaan mo. Present And kasama siya sa life dito sa Japan. Exactly. I I, I can relate to you actually kasi ganyan din ako minsan sa work. Minsan, alam mo yun, yung feeling na mabigat yung pakiramdam mo. Mm-hmm. Tapos, andyan ka na sa door ng workplace mo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tapos, hinga, hinga ka lang ng malalim. Ayun na. Ten hours. Ten hours. Um, 12 lessons, kaya ko to. Tapos pasok ka na ng work, tapos smile ka na, and then tingin ka sa kaliwa sa kanan, tapos bow ka sa gitna. Ay, Simon! 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Pero mo, ayoko na, uwi na ako, hindi mo na kaya. Mm-hmm. Kailangan atin, talaga malakas talaga loob. Sa ating mga OFWs, hindi may iwasan minsan may problema sa pamilya natin sa Pilipinas. Minsan talaga, kahit anong gusto mo, mahirap talaga din. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Iba pa yung mga challenges mo dito na ikaw mismo yung humaharap. Tapos may mga challenges pa sa mga pamilya mo minsan. Minsan talaga, mahirap dalhin yung sarili mo. Pero yan yung sinasabing maging professional ka. Kasi uh, yung problema mo pag personal yan, hindi mo pwedeng dalhin yan sa lalo na kapag nag-deliver ka na ng trabaho mo. So, tatagan mo lang yung loob mo. Kaya mo yan. I hope we can also help the viewers um, regarding this topic in our next video siguro. Yeah. about being an OFW or, you know, life of OFWs here in Japan. Well, with regards to Aikaiwa, ano naman yung ma-share mo regarding your experience? Yep. Um, when I was an ALT, um, I usually finish working at schools from like 3 o'clock. And I had a school which would allow me to uh, go home at as early as 12 o'clock. So wow. I Yeah. I had lots of time uh, para gumawa ng mga uh, ibang part-time or mag-leisure, mag-travel, ganun. So, I chose to uh, work part-time sa mga Aikaiwa or uh, yung pinatawag na English Conversation School. So, nag-work ako din part-time from uh, my classes usually started from like uh, 4.30, ganyan. And then, I usually, before, natatapos ako ng mga... 7, 7.30, ganun. So, um, Almost um, 3 hours of work. Yeah. So, um, my breaks naman yun in between, in between classes. Uh, usually 10 minutes kasi nagpe-prepare ka pa niyan eh. Uh, so, ganito, um, sa Ekaiwa, meron ka lang ang number of students mo, unlike sa schools na nasa 25 to 30 students per class, bilang ALT, you know, sa public schools. Sa Aikaiwa naman, nagre-range yung student mo from one-on-one student class to up to 10 students. So, up to 10. So, ganun yung, ano, usually, ang standard nila nasa 4 or 5 lang eh. Kasi maliit lang yung booth mo or yung classroom na pinatap. Maliit lang talaga siya. Or meeting so, rooms. Exactly. So, uh, limited yung number of students na natuturuan mo. At saka, kasama din siya sa program kasi ang goal nila is uh, magkaroon ng mas malaking uh, focus, number one, yung teacher dun sa kanyang bawat estudyante. Kasi, ang Aikaiwa ay nandyan yan para to supplement their uh, the, what is the student's learning kasi yung natututunan nila sa, sa school, uh, hindi siya sapat. Hindi siya sapat. Hindi siya sapat para alam mo yon para talagang mabilis silang matuto. Kasi once a week nga lang, kagaya ng nabanggit ko kanina. So, maraming parents, ang ipinapasok nila yung kanilang uh, anak sa Aikaiwa para magkaroon ng uh, supplemental learning at uh, okay. support. Madagdagan, kumbaga. At yung iba naman ay uh, mga ano mga returnee students, yung mga tumira dati sa abroad, bumalik dito sa Japan para hindi makalimutan ng anak nila yung English uh, pag pag communicate ng English kasi pag nandito na yung lalo na yung mga bata ay Japanese na lahat nakakalimutan nila nagiging nagiging Japanese na sila wala na so uh, kaya pinipili ng mga magulang nila na ipasok sa mga Aikaiwa so sa Aikaiwa uh, from uh, nagre-range yung uh, lessons niyo from May mga menu yan, parang restaurant yan. Kapag nag-in-enroll yung, yung bata, halimbawa, ano ba ang gusto, ano ba ang goal mo? Bakit ka papasok dito sa, sa English Conversation Schools? Uh, so, merong iba na gustong to have fun while learning English. So, kapag ganon, more on songs, uh, games, uh, ng, ano, in English. Of course, meron ding mga... Uh, Usually, mga how long yung lesson? Ah, depende rin yan sa menu. Meron ding iba na 20 minutes, merong 30 minutes. Usually, nasa 40 minutes yung uh, English conversations. Meron ding iba na 1 hour. So, kagaya nga na sinabi ko, depende sa goal ng estudyante. 
So, merong iba naman na kailangan nilang paghandaan yung test English test nila. So, kapag ganun, iba rin yung uh, curriculum na ibinibigay sa kanila. So, kapag English Conversations uh, class or AKIWA, more, mas focus talaga sila sa kung ano yung goal nila na pag-aralan. Kaya, ikaw din, mas focus din yung, as a teacher, mas focus din yung uh, lessons na dapat mong i-prepare para sa kanila. Kasi, ano, uh, depende rin yun sa students ano kasi may iba namang ang AKIWA kasi nagre-range yan from from kindergarten to adults. So merong mga usually kapag adults ano, uh, more on conversations lang sila, very random and very uh, free flowing. Uh, of course meron silang goal, may, may iba na gusto mag-travel abroad, may iba naman na para sa uh, mga friends nila dito na mga foreigners. So kapag ganoon, yeah. So pag more on work na business English na yan ano, medyo ibang level na rin ang ang kinikater niyan. So, uh, which ginagawa ko rin siya ngayon, <laughs> 'di ba? So, uh, eh kaiba pa rin siya pero business English na. So, mm-hmm. 'yun. So to clarify things, mas can, can we say na mas broad or mas malaki ang scope ng AKIWA kumpara sa ALT? Definitely mas diverse kasi marami siyang areas na ano na kinikater when, when i say area i mean yung different area ng da, dahil nga sa iba-ibang goals ng mm-hmm. mga estudyante goals ages yeah definitely ages career ang dami mm-hmm. background din mm-hmm. yeah. so depende sa company na papasukan mo if ever exactly mm-hmm. so doon magkakaiba rin siguro yung kailangan mong i-prepare na skills or kailangan mong improve na skills before applying Depende sa company talaga. Job. Yep, yep. Uh, so, research hindi, is really important. Yeah, of course. Very fundamental <laughs> sa, ano, <laughs> sa bilang teacher. Ano, kasi, uh, lalo na sa ating mga Pilipino, hindi tayo mga first, uh, uh, hindi natin native language ang English. Mm-hmm. So, natutunan lang din na, we are like Japanese, second language learners. Second language. Ang, edge, ang, ang edge lang natin is mas exposed tayo sa English through media, um, what's this media, social media, uh, lahat. Uh, at mm-hmm. kasama siya sa curriculum natin. Pero, And 90% English ang subject sa school. Exactly. Natin. Exactly. Kaibahan sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Pero that doesn't guarantee na ikaw na magaling mag-English ay talagang meron ka ng skill para ituro yung English sa mga Japanese learners or kagaya nila. Kasi mar- ang nakikita kong problema ng ibang Filipino English teachers dito, feeling nila, ano, bilang kasi ganito yun ha, ma- nasanay tayo sa uh, teacher-centered learning sa generation natin. Na parang ang ang bata ang magka-catch up sa teacher. Kung ano yung style ng teacher, bahala ka. Ah, good point, good point. Mag- mag-catch up ka. Pagdating dito, may mga nakikita akong gano'n na parang, ano, you don't understand yung ganun. Girl, hindi ganun. Kaya ka nandito para turuan mo sila. So, mag-adjust ka sa kung ano yung learning capacity ng estudyante mo. Hindi sila ang mag-a-adjust sa'yo. Tama. Tama. Hindi mo, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, say this, say this. How do you say this? You don't know? You can't do that kasi... You really have to bend your back. Exactly. You're here to teach them not for them to catch up on what you know okay so kailangan kailangan handa ka para i-stretch yung mga bagay-bagay para mag-come up ka ng ways to teach them the language without you know pushing them kasi pushing them away kasi you're just pushing them away the moment you, you push them to like say it say it and alam nakikita mo na na blanco wala silang clearly they don't understand And that's the reason why, the very reason why you're there. Para turuan sila. So there are other ways to teach the language without just like talking non-stop. Na wala, wala na silang nakukuha. And dyan papasok ang non-verbal communication like yung gestures. Uh, of course, kung may visual aids ka, mas maganda. Pero there are gonna be times na wala yun. Lalo na pag tinanong nila, ha? Huh? Ano ibig sabihin yan? Kahit, kahit nagpapakita ka lang picture, tas yung 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 pinapaliwanag mo eh hindi naman pala nila naigigets naigigets iyon kailangan flexible ka 
Kailangan And also, sorry. importante talaga na naiintindihan ng teacher siguro yung learning style ng students. Exactly. Yan siguro yung biggest mistake ng mga katrabaho kong Westerners. Kasi, well, ganun din naman sa atin sa Pilipinas. Sa so, pag-teacher ka, teacher ka, kailangan yung sadyante yung susunod sa'yo, di ba? Sa atin nga, di ba? Minsan, dumadating pa sa point na pwede mong panlisi ka ng mata yung, yung sadyante, di ba? Ano ba, kasi mo ito maintindihan? <laughs> Pero dito sa Japan, hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun dito. You can't. Mm-mm. Kasi I think in Japan, teaching English is a kind of service. It is. <laughs> is it safe to say that? Yes, it is. In a way, I kailangan think. hospitable ka, kailangan engaging ka, kailangan you understand your students. Actually, in my work, um, Eikaiwa teachers are also called, not actually teachers, some people call us conversation experts. Hmm. Kasi um, some students prefer na hindi nila na-feel na teacher ka. Mm-hmm. Parang you're acting like a friend. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're leading the conversation and trying to make them learn something out of that conversation. Yeah. You, you, need, to, uh, you need to do all you can as a teacher to make your students feel comfortable. Kasi kung hindi sila komportable, La, kakabahan sila, di wala silang maiisip na ano na yung kung may prior knowledge man sila sa English, hindi lalabas yun. So, uh, at kung kabado sila, hindi nila na-absorb fully yung yung tinuturo mo which defeats the fa- uh, the purpose of you teaching them. Kasi ang goal mo nga is to get them to speak, to get them to think in English and, to, and basically to get them to communicate like naturally in English. So, don't block that uh, by 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 saying that you have to be like what you said you have to uh, be engaging welcoming and uh, establish that uh, you know feeling sa kanila na okay lang na magsalita sila whether may mali sila or wala it's okay as long as you are communicating yeah it's okay to make um, mistakes Okay, so let's go back dun sa pagiging ALT. Um, Derecha ang tanong. Oops, teka-teka muna guys. Bibitinin ko muna kayo ngayon. Abangan ang final episode ng story ang ito after a few days. And if you like today's content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, please hit the bell notification button down below para updated kayo sa mga stories ko. Yeah!